Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another video and I am a bit perplexed. Um, let's see, I might meld these two videos together, but in case I don't, uh, here's the intro for this one. Um, I got a box uh, in the mail. Um, let's see here. This uh, flat rate box. If this, if you're seeing this in a separate video, it's the start of a separate video, then go ahead and go back and watch the other REOK. But this is from a man named Robert. <laughs> and he sent me this giant box and it was filled with auto rolled and some good stuff. And that, I got that on Saturday. Today is Monday. And then today I got this box from the same individual. Um, yeah, so I'm having a little deja vu here. I'm not really sure why he sent me two boxes, but we're going to go ahead and open these up. My guess is he's just totally cleaning out his collection and decided for whatever reason to donate all this stuff to me. And, uh, we are going to find out what's in this box now together. Um, so I'm decided to go ahead and open it on film. Here we go. And cut that sucker right there. I have not peeked at anything. Uh, the last box showed up a little damaged. This box is in perfect condition. And we've got some uh, paper towel packing here. Okay, so um, this box, by the way, weighs almost 17 pounds. The previous box weighed um, just over 10 pounds, I think. So and there was like 60 some odd pieces in it. Oh man. All right, so paper toweling. Oh my gosh. All right, so a bunch of loose cars floating around in here. Um, we're just gonna go through this stuff. So an Italian job, mini, pretty cool, Austin mini. Um, we've got a lot of loose cars. So this guy here. It was from the 50th favorites, wasn't it, or something like that? Um, I think same with this little red express truck as well. That's cool casting. I like that. Um, let's see what else we got. I'm going to try to, like, organize these as we go through them. Um, Hot Wheels Ferrari. He just kind of sent some of these just loose floating around in here. I don't know. Are you quitting collecting Robert, he sent me uh, a message on Facebook, and that's how this started. He just said, hey, I want to send you a few things as appreciation for your channel. Is that okay? And I said, yeah, you know, that's all right. Go for it. It looks like we got... Was this added detail? This looks like this had painted added details to it. Or is it not? I don't recall. Were these full deco? Anyway, you got this uh, Camaro, which I think has some painted added detail to it. It's pretty cool. Um, this guy. Yeah, we're just going to go through these, I guess, one by one. There might be 100 cars in here. Uh, green light. I'll put that in a separate little pile. Uh, some Hot Wheels. Flames. Uh, actually, a few more of those. More flamage. The, the Zamac with Flames series from Walmart. Uh, from a ways back. I think that's from the same series. Oops. Just trying to keep them lined up here. Keep the carded stuff separate. There's a green machine sitting right here, but I can't pull it up because there's cars on top of it. There's that. <clears throat> um, another one. So I think this is the whole series of the Zamac with flames. I'm guessing there was eight cars in the series. There you go. So I remember that series when it hit Walmart. We got some more Hot Wheels here. Hey, this is going to be a fun game. And name this series. This is in the Target Retro line or Throwback line. That Ranchero might have been. Um, I think this was for sure. Where's that guy there? Uh, this is kind of insanity. But I guess it's one way to get rid of your stuff. 
dump it on me. To be honest, I mean, I have a lot of this. What is this? This looks like a custom. That's a wheel swap, right? It's a wheel swap without undoing the rivet. Is it a wheel swap or is it not? I don't remember ever seeing this with these wheels. Somebody will comment down below. I'm going to put that over there. <clears throat> oh, here's the... This is something that I got in the last box. So it was the Zine Machines. That answers that. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, so Ferrari 330P94 Hall of Fame series. Did that come with these wheels on it? Why don't I remember that? These are like... Are they chrome or gold? They almost look gold. I think they're just chrome. Interesting. That's a cool piece. I don't think I have that. Uh, looks like we got some more cards. This is probably hints at other stuff that will be uh, in the box. Uh, another Ferrari. Hot Wheels. Uh, Matchbox Ferrari. Sorry, I'm filming from a weird angle, so it's kind of tough. And hopefully you can hear me all right. I'm, again, I'm not talking very loud because uh, the family upstairs lies asleep at the moment. That's a cool Mustang. What series was that out of? Uh, green light. Shell truck. That's cool. So we got a shell truck and a shell Bronco. Uh, this is cool. Um, this is from, I think this is the Colgate. Was it Colgate? It was a toothpaste that this one came in. And I think I got the one originally, I got it from, uh, I think, Radar468. So shout out to you, buddy, if you're watching this. Um, Target throwback, right? Nissan, Datsun. Uh, I think there's a couple more throwbacks in here I'm grabbing. Uh, I'm not sure if that was one. That might have been. Uh, this was a Target throwback car. Uh, this was as well. Um, let's see here. What else do we got? A Dodge Viper. Was this the throwback one? Might have been. Maybe. I have to start a new Hot Wheels row here. I'm moving some stuff over on the table. Uh, Testarossa. Another Ferrari in black. You know, this is a testament, honestly, to how durable Hot Wheels are, because he literally basically just put these in paper towel and, like, sent them loose. So they've been banging away around the whole way here, and there's, like, nothing wrong with them. That's from the 50th Favorites, right? That Golf Galaxy. Yellow Ferrari. Um... Okay, well, this is just kind of a little insane. Testarossa, or the 512M, rather, or whatever. Same basic car. Hey, there we go. Shell again. And this is the 240Z. The casting I've dogged quite a bit on this channel. Uh, just because I love the 240Z and I get disappointed when I, you know, I see that they kind of screwed up that casting. All right, so we've got more loose cars here. Another layer of loose. We've got this green machine right here. Ford F-150. And then we've got another green machine right here. A Hitched Homes trailer. I actually don't have an example of this trailer tooling, so I may, I may want to open that one and keep that one in my collection. We'll see. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm not going to keep all of this stuff uh, Robert, because I have some of it, and the auto world that you gave me, I'm definitely going to hang on to most of that, um, just because I hoard auto world, but some of this stuff will get paid forward, here's a Mazda 77B, um, Porsche, so we're getting into some premium cars here, and again, these are kind of just like laid out in here, Audi, Uh, there you go, Silverado. That's the hot one in that set, right? Borla, Silverado, that's cool. That's awesome. Uh, Caddy, 
trying to go through these semi quickly because there's layers of this stuff. Porsche. Subaru. That's cool. Uh, more and more and more. Car culture. I'm going to start another row of Hot Wheels. One of my favorite castings is Ford Transit. I wish they would come up with this in another normal color with not a lot of graphics. Uh, like they did the first time. The first release of this is one of my favorite releases of Hot Wheels of all time. Um, Japan Historics 2. Hopefully you guys can see this stuff all right. I'm not really looking at the camera. Uh, Cougar. Eliminator. One of my favorite castings too. I like that one. This is an awesome casting as well. The Evo Mercedes. Pretty awesome. Skyline Van. Skyline Wagon. Sick stuff. All right. Uh, Chevelle. I don't know what that's from. It might be a throwback series, I'm not really sure. Another car culture, right? Cobra Daytona or whatever it is. Uh, Japan Historics 2. In. Sane. BMW. Sorry. Uh, BMW. Renault. Cool. Alpha. Cool. Um, what is it that? Another car culture model. Set that one right there. Ooh, I love this one. The Odyssey. More minivans, please. And uh, what's that one from? I don't know what this four truck is from. Uh, it might be from a five pack, maybe. I don't know. Uh, whoa! What happened to this guy? It's too bad I don't customize really anymore. This would be a prime candidate to do something with that. Was this like an? Error? Was this in the package like that? Uh, the window is like cracked too. Or that happened in transit. Who knows? I mean, this thing had to have gotten bumped around a little bit. Oh, man. All right. So, we're at another layer. And that is, I believe, this is the this auto showcase exclusive, which he sent me one in the previous box. Uh, but it got, I believe, damaged in transit. So there's a replacement for that. I haven't even posted that video, and I, I might post these together. I'm not really sure. Maybe we'll do two. Okay, so this is cool because, and these were just literally shipped, like, layer of paper toweling. Boom. Um, these are neat. I don't have an example of this casting, but now I do. So that is sweet. Uh, the, like, I don't have an example. I don't think of this one either. The Dodge. Bully dog. I know I have one of them. I don't know. I think I have the Ford. So that's the Dodge and the Chevy. Chevy Silverado. That's cool. Uh, Nissan Titan, Black Bandit. So we're green light. Uh, another green light. This one, this one lost a mirror, I think, in transit. Broken. Uh, which is all right. It happens. Oh, uh, this is awesome. I never picked this one up. This is a really cool one. 8500 truck. Let's have to fix a wheel there. Looks like she fared okay in the journey over here. Wow, I cannot believe this survived. Like, literally, he's got these packed in here. Hang on. Oops, sorry, I gotta take the camera now. Like that. 
That's where I'm pulling these from. I'm just surprised. I mean, th this is all, you know, stuff. I mean, obviously he didn't take too much time to pack it, and that is completely fine. Um, I'm sure he just, you know, mostly wanted to get rid of this stuff. Um, so I don't, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It just sent me this stuff, and uh, it's just crazy how how well some of the green light uh, made it. I would think it would have been all destroyed. The green light stuff. Another model. Wait a minute. This is the regular with the green machine that I got carded. So, are you getting out of the diecast game is the question. Are you quitting collecting and just giving me all this stuff? Are you just severely narrowing your collection, maybe? Here's another one of these. Sent one of these in the first box. Uh, the one he sent in the first box did get damaged in transit, so that one is not. And he didn't pack them bad the, the first time around at all, just the box got kicked around by the Postal Service. Here's Silverado. Lightning. Uh, cool. Dodge. That's cool. That's a cool piece. Didn't have that one. Um, I think I've got this one. I may have to move this box and make more room. A GTR. It's like what's gonna what's gonna be what's gonna get pulled out of here. C10. It's great casting. Uh, let's see here. It's got a little wheel that got messed up. Other than that, it has survived the journey. Ooh, this one's awesome. I like that one. I never picked this one up when it came out. I almost did. That's a cool version of the C10. I love the weathered look. That's fantastic. Uh... Chevy Silverado again with like a bar and everything and it, and it arrived intact Ford truck Chevy another truck this is cool Dodge Ram Charger won't stay down. It happens with these sometimes. That's fixable. Uh, I gotta make room. Um, okay, hold on. Alright, and we're back. Um, I just had to make some room on here because I'm, I'm out of it. Fox body Mustang. Trying to make sure we stay in focus. Let's see, that's an all-world, that's an all-world matchbox. I don't think we're gonna see too many more matchbox. These were some damaged ones. I'm keeping those aside. Another green light. Um, another green light. Let's see here. Just getting it out here. This little STP. That one. Uh, Dow Shram. Uh, hey, another Auto World, another display case exclusive. Sweet. That one's a good one. Sent one of those in the first box as well. Crazy. Alright, so, ooh, 50th anniversary Hot Wheels. Um, we're kind of out of room for Hot Wheels over here. I, uh, I'll start a new row over there. Alright, I am at the bottom of the box. And we'll see what survived. All right. Neeson. Auto World. Put that over there. Uh, that one survived. Hey, another Auto World. This one has painted lights. There is a lens detail taillight version of this casting. Cool. That one's a cool one. Uh, let's see here. We got more green light. 
GT. Ford GT. Another Ford GT. Another Ford GT. You. Auto World. Chevy truck. That's from the recent series. And let's see here. Camaro. 510. 50th anniversary black and gold. Hot Wheels. Green light. Auto World. Auto World. Purple Jeep. Purple Jeep. Green light. Black and gold. Black and gold. Twin mill. This is kind of insane. All right, another one, another one. So it looks like you know most of that series is there. Uh, another Ford GT. I actually didn't get all those Ford GTs when they came out. Believe it or not, have them now. All right, and then Team Transport. Oh, that's kind of a sweet looking green light. Don't have that one. Camaro. Don't have this one either. Actually, I don't even think I have an example of this casting, believe it or not. Some goofy reason I've been holding off on getting this uh, Camaro casting until I found one that I really liked. And that one's actually really nice right there. So, that's sweet. Panamericana. Has a sweet Camaro as well. <sighs> okay. Auto World Mustang. Uh, we'll set that there. Auto World Camaro. We'll set that there. Put these two here. Auto World Mustang. Auto World Camaro. Auto World Dodge. Challenger? Charger? Challenger? <laughs> Why do I always screw that up? All right. Um. Nissan GTR. Oh boy, we're almost there, guys. We are almost there. Panamericana. Ford GT. So that whole set's there. This is interesting, actually. What is this? Uh, 1971 Airstream Land Yacht Safari trailer. That's actually a really cool trailer. Did this come raw like this? I mean, I guess it's an Airstream, it would, right? It's all oxidized, too. Like, it looks old, which is sweet. And it's got that one silver rim, chrome rim. The rest is black. This thing looks pretty awesome. So I'm digging that. That's really cool. And then, um, wow, I cannot believe this survived. I cannot believe this Condor actually survived the journey. The mirrors are intact and everything. There's nothing missing from it. That's kind of crazy because it was just right in the corner of the box. You'd think for sure a mirror would break off of this in transit, but it did not. And last, but definitely not least, we have an M2 Chase. One of 750 pieces. 
Okay, so I don't know what to say at all. Let's take a bird's eye of this. Um, yeah. Should we count? How would I stop it, count it, and let's check out the totals. Okay, so the numbers are in, and uh, this is how it breaks down. We got one matchbox, one M2, 13 Auto World, 45 Green Light, and 60 Hot Wheels for a grand total of 120 pieces, if I counted correctly, and I did that very fast. All right, so yeah, absolute insanity. Um, dude, you got to let me know. Are you just cleaning out the collection? What's going on here? Um, you know, he said he wanted to send me... Oh, I totally forgot for the green light. So scratch that, 120, and then I got the carded pieces over here. There's three of them over there, so 123, so it's 48 green light, and two of which are green machines. Are you just cleaning out the collection, <laughs> bro? I mean, seriously. This is just way too much stuff to just give somebody. So I do appreciate it, by the way. I definitely do. And like I said, some of it's going to get paid forward. I'll bring some of it to my local meet and stuff like that. Um, you know, anybody else, if there's like a piece you're looking for, um, let me know. And if I don't have it, of course, I'll, I'll probably give it up. Because, I mean, if, if, I mean, if I do have it, you know, whatever, I'll probably... Uh, give it up. You know, this is just very, very generous. And I mean, I guess I sort of get it. If you want to just clean out your collection, you want to get rid of it. You don't want to deal with it. Give it to someone else that will have fun with it. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have fun with this stuff. Um, and then uh, all that other stuff back there that was in the uh, first box. I mean, just in shipping this stuff alone, I mean, it, it's expensive. Um, so uh, just pretty crazy. So I am definitely uh, blown away by this. I'm not really sure what exactly to say. So I apologize if I'm, you know, if I don't sound super excited or anything like that. Like, again, I, you know, I've got people asleep up right above me. I don't want to uh, be loud and be like, you know, holy crap, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm a little perplexed at the amount of stuff. But uh, <laughs> anyway, very cool. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this video, this uh unboxing video and uh yeah maybe i'll uh, film another one when the next one comes is another one coming i mean he sent me a white lightning in the other box i mean this just this is this is absolute insanity all right buddy well i guess thank you thank you very much and uh thank you guys for watching all that good stuff thanks for the thing obviously no one needs to send me an re okay ever for doing my videos you really don't need to do it if you feel the need to do it i typically don't deny you just because i know it gives people joy you know it gives me joy obviously to get stuff you know it's cool it's fun and i never know what's going to come so that part's fun and then the other part that's fun is you know you guys get to see the stuff unboxed on the channel and and sometimes i'm sure you you have fun with that so it's kind of a win-win situation so that's why i typically do accept them um but it, just for the record it is absolutely unnecessary okay i don't need to be sent this i will continue to make content and uh you know it's cool your your kind words are always enough uh getting boxes like this is always some, something interesting as well though all right thank you guys very much for watching sorry about the long-winded ending here but have yourself a good day